Hello, this is the Contessa Game Weekend, the Ash and Stars Gumshoe Demo. Today we have Jake, uh, Lowell, and Sherry playing um, spacefarers who are also investigators. So this should be an exciting uh, adventure for us all. Um, all right, and I'm going to be, I will be sharing my Roll20 screen, so uh, hopefully that will be nice and pretty for everybody. Share that. Present to everyone. All right. So on our, oh, actually, I, I have video for that, so let me, let me do that. Let's talk about the characters and character sheets. In the folder that I have uh, shared with you guys, there are five character sheets. We will need to pick three of them. Um, you can you can play anybody. We don't have a requirement that we we need to have uh, a pilot. We need to have a, a gunner or anything. Um, <clears throat> The characters, the human hailer, that's like the comms person. The human pilot, uh, that's obviously they fly the ship. They're the equivalent of, uh, of, of Wash on Firefly. Uh, <laughs> Stratco is kind of like the captain as well as the business administrator. Uh, the premise behind Ash and Stars is that you are a group of quasi-independent, sometimes hired uh, investigators, troubleshooters, uh, maybe sometimes smugglers. It, it's, it really depends on how your campaign goes. And everybody has a ground side post and a ship side post. So you have two different roles based on whether you're uh, on the ship or on the ground. And they can be different roles. You could be the captain of the ship, but on the ground you're really just muscle. Uh, it 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 really just depends on on what um, what your roles are. Our roles are our our, our pregens do not really have ground side uh, posts filled in because we don't really need them for this demo. So their the pregens are very very basic and and much more streamlined for what we're doing here. Um, the wrench, that's the that's the engine's person, the engineer, they, they fix the things. Uh, and then the gunner is, uh, that's, <clears throat> that's our weapons offer. <laughs> and the gunner is the only alien on, on our ship. Uh, uh, they belong to a race called the Kuchthuk. They're a giant bug person. Um, and they're, they're, they're pretty badass. Uh, <laughs> and they 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 kill stuff. Uh, well, they don't have to, but this particular one does. Apparently, they killed so. off their bowels long ago. Yes. <laughs> yes, they did. just didn't bother having them to begin with. So, uh, the 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 kitsch, they are they're an interesting species in part because one of their potential drives is uh, food tourism, yeah. where they go through the the universe, you know, the, the galaxy looking for uh, interesting things to eat, including other species like sapiens. You know, they, yeah. Um, it's, it's 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 amusing when they're, you know, you be role-playing with one and they're like, hmm, you're an interesting person. You would be delicious. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. so, um, so, who wants to play... <laughs> What? Uh, the wrench looks good. Okay. Sherry, the engineer. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, post a link to the character. You can't find it in Hangouts. Oh, uh, it's. Do you see? You don't see the group chat in Hangouts. No, I, I think it's because of the, the the monstrosity of the various things that I've got hooked up to actually run it. But yeah, no, I, I'm not seeing. Okay. It. All right. Uh, um, I'm gonna post it in your in your private chat because the oh that works fine. Yeah, that's all. Any of those will work. <laughs> Good. Thanks. Okay. Oh, I keep. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm gonna take the the chip. <clears throat> all right. The gunner. 
the gunner. So we got the gunner, we got the wrench. Jake, you've got uh, Stratco, Hailer, and Pilot. Um I uh, um I'll go with Stratco, why not? Alright. Captain Jake. Uh, <laughs> okay. Okay. Um so uh has has anyone played Gumshoe before? I know Jake has. He was in my demo uh, ten minutes ago. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, Lola, Cherry, it. have you played before? Yeah. A long time ago. Yeah. Long time ago. Okay. Mm -hmm. So uh, your abilities in um, in Ash and Star, the abilities mm -hmm. over here, the academic, interpersonal, and technical, those are your investigation abilities. So those are the those are the points that you can spend to get extra clues about a mystery that is happening. Uh, you know, what's going on? Who are these people, etc. And you, if you have a point in it and there is a clue to be had about that thing, you automatically get the core clue of it. If you want to do extra stuff, uh, get it in in some way that is particularly awesome. Uh, or get extra information related to it beyond just the core clue, then you spend the point and voila, you, you get the information. So for investigation uh, uh, skills, you don't have to roll. With general abilities, which are the ones over on this side, um, like athletics and health. Uh, health is actually, that's how many hit points you have. So that's a little bit different. Uh, shooting, that. When you try to shoot something, you roll a d6 and you add however many points out of that pool you want to spend. So you, you if you don't have a skill, you can still roll a d6 and not spend points. Uh, you would just roll a d6 and whatever you come up with, that's that's your score. If you spend points, it adds you know point, one for one. Is the spending? So, do you handle the spending before or after the roll? Before the roll. Okay. Uh, which makes sense because we mm -hmm. have, you know, on roll twenty, we you add it in when you roll it, so it works out pretty well. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, uh, you guys can come up with names for your characters, and once you do, in the settings for on roll twenty, if you can change your character's name, that great uh, your display name, um, and that and and then it'll show up down at the bottom of our roll twenty window. Um, so uh, the human wrench and the uh uh, Gunner, you both have disruption pistols. That's cool. Uh, the um, human Stratco has a disruption pistol with a gun nanny. <laughs> so uh, when he turns his, his gun to lethal mode, it, it warns you if taking the shot uh, will damage your reputation. I think something from Douglas Adams. Mm. <laughs> it kind of is. <laughs> it kind of is. Uh, also, the Stratco is the only one who has a hit threshold of three. So you are easier to hit. Just letting you know. <laughs> yeah, it's good to know. Yeah. Okay. So, where do I change my name in roll twenty? Go to. Okay, so uh, in roll twenty, the there's a. Uh, yeah. Do you see the the little gear icon off to yes, the right I'm side sorry. of the? Yeah. Okay. Got it. And just to make it easy, I'm going to call my wrench Wren. So there we go. Wren. Wren the wrench. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Captain James Ace Rimmer. All right. And good luck. All right. Okay. Great. Awesome. Let's get started. Um, tell me about your 
what is the name of the ship Wren? Um, wow. Uh, the Persephone? The Persephone. <clears throat> and uh, uh, Captain you know, Rimmer. <laughs> Call me Ace. Captain, Captain Rimmer, what, yeah, Ace, uh, what brought you to, um, uh, uh, to be in this part of space near um, this planet, which Kathak is going to name for me. Uh, what brought us here? Mm -hmm. um, let's say we have a contract. I'm not entirely sure what we do for a living, but whatever it is, we're... Here well, for you're the business. captain, so you, t you, you should know. Okay, uh, that, that would be a good point. Um, <laughs> okay. We, we have a contract to do or deliver something, but it is significantly uh, complicated, and I'm still trying to figure out exactly what it is, but I know it's on this planet. Okay. So still working through the paperwork. <laughs> Let's say we're delivering, oh, we're delivering a load of uh, dilithium. Uh, dilithium delivery water, yeah. <laughs> to uh, Bogdanovich, Bogdanovich five. 5. Excellent. Okay. Um, and you're not quite in orbit yet. You're actually approaching Bogdanovich 5. Um, and uh, so, you know, you're, you're on your way. Um, hmm. Actually, supposed to. However, be... huh? Okay. No, I was I... thinking to myself, but dilithium would be like what? Hydrogen? Actually, it would be uh... some kind of gas. Either yeah, way, I, I, I don't know. Yeah. I, we I we just can mix it with an oxygen and, and transport it as water. Right. Um, and uh, just as you're, <laughs> just as you're, as you're coming in. <clears throat> Uh, you have... Ah, here we go. Aha. I knew there was box text. Yes! <laughs> awesome. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, so, Ren, you are in the engine room. Um, and so is Kathak. Um, <clears throat> and uh, the, there's a pilot. He is not... He would be an, a quiet NPC. Uh, and um, We don't like him much. And Ace, you are in the cockpit. Okay. Your ensign looks worried. Sir, it's worse than we thought. The alien shuttle pierced the side of the ship. We've locked off oxygen loss, but something alive is loose down there. It's in the engine room, and the sh ship shudders from explosions somewhere aft. Alarms start blaring. All the cockpit lights flicker off. And I think it's trying to sabotage us. You are aboard the Persephone. Right. You are now in a rapidly decaying orbit around the planet Bogdovich 5. The ship can't survive entry into the atmosphere. Your crew has at least three goals in the next few minutes before everybody dies. <laughs> Diagnose and fix the sabotage. Capture or destroy the class alien threat. And find out if you left behind any surprises. Oh, and pilot the ship out of danger. <laughs> Go. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kathak and... Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> and... Uh, oh, sorry, Ren. Um, Ren, get, um, get down to... What would you say? It was in the cargo hold? No, it's it's in the engine room. It's almost with us. It's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we're, we're watching. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Permission, permission to hunt down... And uh, 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 eliminate. Yeah, eliminate, yes, but don't. <laughs> you still need to figure out what it is. Uh, uh, yes, yes, uh, the order of things. It's always important, but yes, killing first. Okay. Okay, and she's all right, and uh, Ren's already standing by the door, waiting for Kathak, because he's not going to go through without some, some uh, uh, <laughs> backup. Back <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. All right. So well, if it looks uh, intelligent, the don't yeah. it. We can always charge at Rand. <laughs> I assume we have some sort of suits for containment, or in case of, uh, you know, essentially the environment well, systems going down. Yeah, that's, that's a very good point. Um, uh, 
We'll say that you um, you have rebreathers, but it is important. And and oxygen loss has stopped. So so okay. it's like there's there's some sort of emergency shield that has gone up. Um, but obviously, if the sabotage continues, you are you're screwed. Uh, <laughs> so um, so yeah, you 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 enter uh, or you're already in the the engine room, and um, uh, and Ren, you know. You're you live in this room practically, mm -hmm. right? This is this is your home, so you know when things are wrong. Obviously, things are wrong because there's you know a glaring hole in the side of the engine room. Um, but more importantly, you can hear something below uh, the 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 um, the grating on the floor. Oh, like something's running around down there. Yes, and okay. you know there's a crawl space underneath the engine. Okay, are there ah. any of these like force systems that are like in the thing? Can I um, put some containment down through the floor system so that it can't like go to all areas? You could, but it would jeopardize the one that's keeping space out there. <laughs> Damn it! All right. <laughs> Okay, Mostly because you know, like half half of your engine's power has been affected by the sabotage. This was not sophisticated sabotage. Okay, um, so essentially, what I'm going to do then is I want to do a quick thing to go. What's the most dangerous thing that it's heading towards that I'm going to need to keep it um, from getting to? Um, probably uh, uh, life support would be the most critical and then of course propulsion because you know not having engine in a spin like this is yeah, it's, that's going to end up dead okay so what I'm going to do is I'm going to race over to where the life support is and I'm going to pull the grate up over the floor and sort of smash it down in there so it at least has to come up top to get around that okay okay all right okay uh, Kathak what are you going to do oh I'm very excited about this uh, but crawl space is not so good uh, let's see. There was a hole you said of some sort. Yes. Yes. There's a. There's like a, a, a basically a blasted panel or a blasted hole in the side of the engine room that mm. is. Um, you know. Now there's space out there. You know. There's. It, it's. <laughs> it's dangerous. Uh, <laughs> there is a shield keeping that from from uh, from killing you all. But there's there's danger there. Yes. Do we have a sense of where this thing came up from? Um, it's it's unclear. Uh, probably. Then that is what I am going to do is look to see if I can figure out wh how it made egress into here, because that may be the way um, it went back. Well, there is the big hole in the wall, you know, uh, in the hole. So um, it it may have oh, it may have come in that way psst. or. Um, let's see. How much? How much investigate? How much investigative abilities do you have? I have kind of evidence you collection. Have. I have kinetics. You know what? You have explosive devices. That I do. Okay. Uh, examining will, this. We'll spend a point. Okay. With my explosive uh, devices. The explosion was from inside going outward. <laughs> Sabotage. Uh, so he was probably already on the ship. I will relay that to our ace captain, Ace. <laughs> okay, ace captain, well, Ace, good. over over there on the on the cockpit. We're gonna switch over here. Uh, ace captain, Ace. Okay. How you doing over so, there? So up here, on I assume the bridge more than a cockpit, right? Like it's not just me yeah. and some other guy. And the, okay, yeah. So um, uh, first off, if it the explosion f was from the inside out, that that means it's been on here for a while. Mm -hmm. So Kathakwa, if you catch it, don't eat it, because we're definitely gonna have to charge it for the um, uh, for transportation costs and various <laughs> associated fees. <sighs> um, number two, I have the. Um, uh, whatever the the ensign on watch, bring me a sandwich and a cup of coffee. Okay. Uh, um, and <laughs> then I get it. Uh, I walk over to the display board, which all bridges are in sci-fi universes are required to have by law. 
of that course. shows a diagram of the engine room that they're crawling through with little red dots representing the people. And, sure. You yeah, you and, know and this, panel, this panel this panel may explode, edit it. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> don't don't forget. I have I the mean, ensign tell. Yeah. He, put, I, he puts I his plate in between it. <laughs> Uh, and keep in mind that you are also uh, spiraling towards the planet's surface. Right. Um, in which case, I can I I've got a thing something on here called inspiration. Um, can I use a, a, a point to inspire the pilot with my unerring and deservedly unearned reputation as an uh, intergalactic space captain sure. to get him to pull off some fan, uh, maneuver or something to keep us from spiraling into death quite so soon? Yeah. Yes, I, I will let you spend that point that way because we don't have a pilot. Uh, <laughs> absolutely. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, and and as you're um, as you're you're working on the you know getting the, the schematic up, uh, yeah. the screen flickers and like 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 alien script scrolls across the the screen. And um, and communication between the the cockpit and or the bridge and engineering uh, goes down. Oh well, that's um, it then. I, I get my gun nanny and start heading uh, and uh, head down to the um, uh, the engine room. Start heading down to the drinking my coffee. All right, with with coffee in hand, coffee in one hand. Well, yeah, coffee. Gun, gun in the, in the other. other. Awesome. Sandwich. And All right, up. so. Uh, you'll you'll get down there in a in a minute or two. Um, Kathak, uh, here you are in the engine room, engine room, uh, and um, <laughs> or beneath the engine room, and you've discovered this uh, very important thing about the explosion. Uh, what are you gonna do now? Hmm. Well, I think. Uh, oh, do I want to kill things? But uh, I'm going to look and make sure that there are no other bombs planted around. Excellent. All right. Um, and as I do, I'm going, ugh. Sense trouble. All right. This is a, this is Let's, a die roll. Okay. I will spend two points on sense trouble out of my six. Ooh, just a three. Do, do, do. Okay. Hidden in the corner of the... Of the uh, uh, engine room, kind of. Actually, you really can only see it because um, because the the crawl space has it's grating. You know, the the floor is uh, is graded instead of like solid. Uh, you can see a like a seed shaped thing, kind of kind of attached to the corner underneath the in the crawl space. So it doesn't look like a bomb. It looks more organic. Uh, well, it is crackling with energy, so... Ugh. Yeah. I will tell the engineer what I see. Um, it looks okay. engineery. Kill it you, with engineering! You actually, I will. You actually know explosive devices pretty well, oh, okay. so... You, so, so I mean, you've got, you've got two points left in it. I, I will will spend a point to see if I can identify this form of explosive as I approach. Okay, so you um, so you're gonna crawl into the crawl space, which means you're in the same yeah. general area with your. Right? And I'm uh, saying, and... I hope nothing attacks me. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to lure it to attacking you? Maybe. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm already okay. hearing the, the the fight music in my head when uh, they're right. crawling. So, um, so, so you you kind of try to fake it out a little bit as you get down there, and uh, and you're approaching the um, the explosive device, um, which you can see is very close to detonation. Um, the, the the crackling energy is getting stronger. You know explosives pretty well. This is actually a bio explosive. Will um, uh, kill anyone once it is exposed to air. Um, hmm. Meanwhile, uh, the alien is uh, kind of a jerk and shoots at you. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I 
And out of the darkness, because he's in total darkness. Shooting. He's spending a couple points on this. Oh. Uh, uh, and he's going to hit you with a six, because your hit threshold, as uh, shown on your character, is four. Okay. <clears throat> so he shoots you with his disruption uh, pistol. His is not a gunny. Um, the lethal mode is definitely on, and he uh, does two points of damage to your health. Now, your health is 12. Mm -hmm. Your health is 12, so you're, you're, I mean, it's just a, he just basically wings you, but um, yeah, darn him. Okay. Uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, so that's, that's where you are. Ren, you are, you've gotten to, you've reached port, um, and uh, want to uh, uh, try to fix it, lock it out, etc.? Um, essentially, I want to lock it out. I have um, all of the things that I, I have, like industrial design and things like that. I should be able to route it so nothing can get to the this point after that. Would be okay. So... Um, and uh, I have systems repair, systems design, sense trouble, preparedness. Oh, hey. It says that someone's done this before to my ship. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, this is definitely systems repair. Okay. You have plenty of points in, in okay. that. Okay. Um, just uh, FYI, uh, um, everything... Everything you guys do is uh, I should have I should have mentioned it's dark in here, so mm -hmm. um, oh. you're you're operating in darkness and and everything has kind of a, a penalty. So, um, uh, but uh, you know it's 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 dark and there's a monster trying to kill you. Of course, this is uh, awesome. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Um, and by the way, uh, uh, Captain Ace, uh, you've been unable to reach. Uh, Kathak and Ren on the comm ever since the that map went that schematic went down. So it's good okay. thing you're on your way over there. Yeah, you're almost there. So Ren, uh, go ahead and roll your sh systems repair. Okay, I'm adding three. Uh, and this it. is on. Okay. Okay. Because I don't know how this works. Whoa! I didn't even need to. That's totally didn't I need love. to. But that's okay. It, the, the standard Gum difficulty shoe. is four. Sometimes it's harder or easier based okay. on, um, you know, circumstances like it's dark. Well, it's no longer dark because you've you've restored uh, lights and ventilation in uh, in the engine room, uh, and you do have control. You have full control over the life support system at this point. Okay. Uh, which means, Kathak, yes, you can now see. The uh, uh, yellow-skinned form of a jagger surf. It's a it's a it's a type of alien. They're they're uh, usually servants of a of a um, <clears throat> well, I mean, you know, very enlightened hive species, of course. But uh, <laughs> um, but they're also uh, uh, jerks. <laughs> jerks and uh, you know they're they they basically try to salvage um, things that they that they have uh, destroyed. Uh, so, uh, Captain Ace, you have arrived at the engine room. The door is shut and uh, probably locked out because you guys were trying to lock everything down. Okay, um, so. Captain is um, put down my uh, what left of my coffee um, in, into an appropriate uh, disposal container. Um, uh, step two is uh, uh, do I have an override or something on the door lock? Probably. Um, yeah. So like if yeah. So um, do I have to roll for something or can I just say that I've got like a way of getting like overriding the door lock? Oh, let's just say that you. Uh... Yeah, you've just you've just got it. I mean, it's you know it's your ship, so why not? All right. Yeah. And um, and and uh, Ren didn't say that she was trying specifically to lock out crew, so that's cool. Okay. In that case, I if I knew he was coming. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, 
Um, in that case, I pull out my disruption pistol, um, sli- switch it to lethal mode. Oh. Um, uh, turn or, uh, spin around the corner, open the door, shout, we come in peace, and shoot at anything that moves. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, uh, Kathak, you, uh, you hear a phaser go off off upstairs or a disruption pistol and then you and then you hear um, uh, shooting your crewmate will result in poor reputation sir uh, <laughs> just as <laughs> yeah. Ren damn it captain <laughs> <laughs> so um, just as Ren dodges uh, kind of like underneath <laughs> part of the engine and <laughs> as, uh, as, as the disruption beam goes flying off towards uh, in her direction, because you know she's the only thing that moved, right? <laughs> um, but uh, I was doing my work. The lights are on. You you do like I said. See, it's kind of like you see um, you just see like its tail or something, you know, behind a a pylon. But you could probably um, stalk it now if you wanted to. Oh, but I've got to disarm this bomb. <laughs> I really want to kill that thing, but. Uh... You want to spend I'll deal with you sorry. later. Okay. <laughs> Rump on it. Go to disarm right, so the bomb. Do you want to spend the round uh, disarming the? You you already spent an explosive uh, divisive point last uh, last round to to find it right. and everything. So um, that 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 will you you can you Could can um, <laughs> that <laughs> that point that one point spend delays it long that you can get it to like an airlock to to. Send it out into space, if wish. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa! That, those things are valuable. Can you just disarm it properly? <laughs> uh, you know what? He, he can't, but perhaps with uh, with help, he could. Fine. Well, yeah. No, oh, I'm actually, he's him... got three in that. No, yeah. he can. He totally can. If he chooses <laughs> to. I yeah, am well, pitching it out because the sooner this <laughs> goes away, the sooner I can start killing things. Ah, uh, this. That's a good point. <laughs> so, I'm I'm throwing it Space Jam style out to the airlock. You just so. yourself uh, bomb, Okay. Mister. Do you? So here's a good question. Do you want to like carry it up and out to an airlock, or do you want to uh, ask for the shield to be dropped on the whole hull? Uh, you do realize why we have airlocks, right? Specifically. <laughs> That we don't do things like this. <laughs> I would like to point out, Captain, that you're the only one in here without a breather. So <laughs> <laughs> I scream, drop the shield! I got a bomb! I'm gonna throw it out right now! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Uh, there. Okay. okay. <laughs> so, all right, everyone roll. Everyone roll athletics. Okay. Because uh, I, I think this is. Uh, <laughs> Excellent. We have of, of hold on so you don't get oh, yeah. sucked out of the airlock. <laughs> I will spend two as well. Okay. Let's see here. Oh, and the the alien has to spend two as well. Okay. Or has to spend some anyway. Let's see. I'll spend two. Okay, so... So he made it. Uh, all right, Ace, you got a four, you got a five. Okay, so everybody holds on to something, anchors themselves, tether- tethers themselves to something, and uh, and Ren drops the shield on on the hull uh, momentarily. It wind, well, not wind, but you know, the, the air getting sucked out into space and blah blah blah, and. Um, Talk <laughs> football style. Uh, <laughs> I put some spin on it. <laughs> yeah, and it and it goes it goes spinning out into into space. Um, and uh, for that Ren, too, right? Ren, you are going to need to roll uh, some kind of engineering thing here because, as I mentioned, that shield was fragile. Mm-hmm. So <laughs> let's go with um, let's go with repair. Okay. Our system repair. Okay, for, so I will um, spend two because I would like to survive this. Okay. Oh, it's a no problem. All right. All right. So you uh, you bring the shield back online. So fortunately, the captain does not in this uh, in this ensuing scene. Uh, <laughs> and uh, and there you guys are. 
uh, you have you have thrown the bi the bio explosive out the out the side of the ship, um, Captain. No worry, you could always recover it if if the ship stops spiraling in a death spiral towards the planet, um, and if you guys can stop the alien from continuing its rampage. Um, in fact, this would be a good moment for it to leap out and try to kill Kathok through its uh, important explosive out the airlock. So he's going to do that. He's a jerk. Did I mention he's a jerk? Yes. <laughs> yes. We're there with you, Stephanie, on that point. Yeah. All right. So oh, scuffle. He's going to spend three of his scuffle points because it's really oh my important. Goodness. Uh, oh. And a four is going to hit you, for sure. Yeah. Um, he's using uh, what's called uh, chatak. It's a multi-bladed short sword made of uh, chitin? Chitin? Yeah. It does damage. Okay. It cuts into you, again, for a whopping two points. Apparently, he's just not that That's strong. your mandibles, right there, <laughs> mister. Why, why do they send like a kid? <laughs> <laughs> baby, baby Jagger. You know, I, what I think it is, I, I, I honestly, I think what's going on here is that he's not familiar with alien bug anatomy. So, ah. you know, he keeps shooting at you and trying to hit you, and he's getting like, all the wrong spots, you know. Um, all right, uh, Captain Ace. All right, um, uh, I, I should uh, to eat flaming plasma death, you freeloader, and blast at it. Okay. <laughs> the first and foremost right. sin. <laughs> uh, difficulty to hit him is is a little higher because he is in fisticuffs with your gunner, and I'm going to assume you don't actually want to hit him. Not until he's paid off that bomb, no. Right. No, I mean, I mean. Oh, okay, <laughs> yeah. All right. So, uh, go ahead and roll your um, shooting. Okay. I am. Is there a maximum number of points I can spend on this? Uh, uh I wouldn't spend more than four, but no. Okay. Well, do like do points over the like? Is there any advantage to hitting really well, or is it nope. like anything beyond the hit is lost? Yep. Anything beyond the hit is lost. Okay. There's nothing special about. You know, maxing out or anything like that. Okay. Thank you for spending four, sir. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Whoo. Okay, so you you fire on him. You uh, you hit him. Uh, roll damage. A uh, disruption pistol is plus one, uh, obviously, uh, and and your gun nanny says, shooting with with lethal damage in this scenario will not have a reputation. Oh, awesome. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Right in the spine. Wow, you uh, you blast him but good. And um, yeah. all right, health. I blow the smoke away from the end of the barrel too after I fire. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yours. Before yours is especially. Energy. Yeah. Your your disruptor pistol is specially designed to issue a little bit of smoke. Yeah. There's a little cartridge. You put <laughs> it, it's just vapor, so it's non carcinogenic. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> of course. Okay. I saw where that thing was hiding, so I want to go over there and see what he's destroyed and see if I can fix that. So essentially, okay, so what you're gonna left... go. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gonna... All right. Sounds good. Uh, so you are going to um, drop down into the, the crawl space. Yep. Uh, this will put you in some danger. Okay. If if the decides to fight you. All right. Um, so you drop down into uh, into that area and you see that uh, uh, it's, this is it's not difficult to see the damage because you are uh, you you have forensic engineer. Um, mm -hmm. You see that uh, uh, he's ripped out some of the cables. Um, that control the engines, which would explain why you guys are still in that flat spin. Uh, so you can probably repair those. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. I see a skill called preparedness. What does that mean? It's a general ability. Okay, preparedness is, ah, 
But of course, these particular cables have quick away because I did that last time this happened or something like that. So if exactly. anytime you need something, yeah. Yeah, so essentially the last time she got sabotaged, she went through and she put redundant cables all along in a, a pipe just next to the other one. So she can just drop that pipe down, put those in. So that is one Excellent. of the things that she did after that. So I okay, will so um, use... Uh, so you've your preparedness roll using however many points. Yep. Okay. I will yep. use two. And I didn't Excellent. need to again. That, that's okay. It, it means that you know it's right there. It's ready to go. Uh, I'm going to say that you you really don't even have to spend uh, points on the repair roll because you've, you've just you've got exactly what you need where you needed it. That's okay. That is the value of preparedness. Oh right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, if it was something like I'd said, you know, oh well, you're out of fuel or something like like if it was a, a problem that I'd already posed mm -hmm. uh, and you and you wanted to solve it with preparedness, I might I might require a second roll after that. But um, okay. But this is just. Like this is this is clever thinking, and I like it. So, uh, so yeah, you just basically like swap out, plug things back in, ready to go, and uh, and you hear up, uh, uh, you know, kind of the the engines start to to that like the noises that it's been making all along start sort of restabilizing, and um, and once again, I forgot our our music on this. Um, oh, there we go. So we had music for this. For this whole scenario. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> using the jukebox that thing. In I feel it's like hours for 10 times cooler already. Yeah. So. Don't you? I mean, yeah. really? <laughs> All right. Uh, Kathak, you are in hand-to-hand -hand combat with a with an alien who was just shot by Captain, by the way. Clearly not... Oh, uh, he, he must have just assumed that you would get out of the way, right? Oh, uh, I have yeah. no doubt that the Captain just fired randomly into combat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, his coffee did get sucked out through the hole yes. in, the, in the hole, so you might out. be a little angry about that. You probably I, owe him the coffee now. I would like to take this weapon away from this gentleman and hey. feed it to him. Oh. Okay. okay. Uh, the gentleman being the, the alien, right? That would be the Jagger. <laughs> okay. Jagger. Jagger. The Jagger, yep. All right, so you... Uh, uh, you're going to use scuffling for this? For yes, sure. I am. Let's see. Oh, nice. All right. <laughs> Spending lots of your scuffling on this. So you grab the gun uh, out of the, his the, hand. The, and... yeah, that that, that multi-bladed thing, that's what I'm grabbing. Oh, yeah, that, that thing, right. And you're going to feed it to him. So yeah. um, uh, roll, uh, it has plus one on its damage. Four is what I rolled. Okay, excellent. You um, you flip the the thing into it and it just like goes right down into its throat and out the back and it's just yeah it's a spray of green blood everywhere and it's just uh, uh Meanwhile, there's, there's, a, there's uh, a clicking sound that's me giggling. Yeah. And, and, right. and, and I yell, Kasak, this is not the time to make kebabs. Okay. <laughs> okay, there. <laughs> Uh, and uh, you guys, you guys, uh, uh, um, the pilot just as just as the alien dies, uh, you hear the pilot calling for um, emergency stations because apparently, even though you just stabilized the engines, um, we're we're going to be making a landing and it will be very very abrupt. So uh, <laughs> because. Uh, basically, you stabilize the engines just really in time to not crash into uh, Bogdovich Five. Um, yes. You guys make your your uh, <laughs> abrupt landing into into the atmosphere. Um, there's it's a it's a bumpy ride, you know, a few bones are broken, whatever, um, and uh, and 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 you survived the uh, sabotage of, from the Jagger. Yay! Um, yay! Congratulations. Uh, and that is Ash and Stars. It's uh, <laughs> it's the science fiction variation of Gumshoe. It's uh, another one of these high 
uh, high action demos. Um, there's, uh, like I said, there's kind of a component where planet side, then you have your investigation things, but uh, up in, in on, on the ship, usually uh, the kind of the investigate part a little bit de-emphasized in favor of space action. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, thank you, and, Stephanie. Uh, that was yeah. awesome fun. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys for playing. I, I had time, and I hope you did too. Yes. Awesome. Thank you. All right. Thanks. And I'm going to stop.